Many people really don't understand the main concepts about inequalities in algebra. So let's go ahead and clear up a few things right now. So here we have a problem 3x is less than 12. Now my first question to you is let's take a look at a simple inequality like this. x is less than 12. So what is x? Well in algebra x is a variable. It simply represents a number. So you can think about this inequality this way. What number is less than 12? Now if you're saying to yourself, well I know the answer. 11 is less than 12. Well 11 would be a solution to this inequality. But is it the only solution? No, because 10 is less than 12. Matter of fact, there is an infinite amount of numbers that are less than 12. So the first main concept that you need to understand about inequalities in algebra is that we always have an infinite amount of numbers that are solutions to an inequality. Now this is in contrast to equations. So let's take a look at a simple equation like this. We have 2x is equal to 8. So in this equation, we have just one solution. If we divide both sides of the equation by 2, we have x is equal to 4. So in general, equations have one or finite number of solutions, and inequalities have an infinite amount of solutions. So the way we want to express uh, answers to an inequality in algebra is typically by using a graph. Okay, so we can graph the solution to this inequality in this manner. So what you want to do is just make a simple number line, put 0 right here, and then we'll go to this number 12 on the number line and put an open circle. Alright, now x is less than 12. Now where are the numbers that are less than 12? Well, it's to the left of this 12 right here, or to the left of 12 are the numbers that are less than 12. In other words, here's 11, here's 0, Here's negative 3, etc. So what you want to do is simply draw an arrow in that direction. Okay, so this would be the graph to the inequality. X is less than 12. Now, if we had X is less than or equal to 12, what we want to do is fill in this circle. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this inequality right here. So the main idea is that you want to treat an inequality temporarily as like an equation. So we have 3x is less than 12. So to solve this, what we're going to do is divide both sides of the inequality by 3. So we have x is less than 4. And so then, of course, we can graph this by putting a number line right here. We put our 0 right here, or 4 right here, and all numbers less than 4 are this way.